All right, and this is how you wash the flour. After it sits for 30 minutes, I'm going to start kneading it. Kind of pull it apart. And you're going to do this until the water becomes clear. So you're going to keep exchanging warm water. Every time it gets really cloudy, you're washing all the starch out of this. You just keep going and you're left with all of the gluten at the very end. And this usually it's dependent on how much flour you you're washing. Um, it could take anywhere up to 15 to 45 minutes to wash all the starch out. And you just rinsing. Some people use cold water. I use warm water because it, it seems like it goes faster if I use warm water and it stays together better. And this is like after about six washes. Now it's starting to look like what your end result might look like, but the water's still cloudy. And this is what, what you got. You can see the strands of gluten starting to coming back together. And you want to keep washing. Like I said, until the water's clear. If you want it to have some color, you can add beet um, flour or beet powder. Um, and I don't really trust anything that's already been floured to see, because you don't know how it was processed. So I would suggest getting your own beets and pressing it for the juice for coloration or um, dehydrating and powdering it yourself. Or you can add um, turmeric to make it look like a more of a chicken color that when it's cooked or um, more of a like curry color. See it's slowly starting to come back together. 